Hello, this is this is Daniel March, and today I'm going to be doing another review. This time around, I'm going to be doing a review for Mad Max Fury Road. And yeah, this movie stars Tom Hardy, Tom Hardy, Charlie Theron, Theron, how do you say Charlie Theron? Um, Nicholas Holt, Hugh Keys Byrne, um, Josh Hellman, and and Zoe Kravitz. Um, Zo Zoe Kravitz, Zoe Kravitz, how do you say that? Um, Nathan Jonas, Rosie Huntington, Whitney, Riley Q, Abby Lee, and Courtney Eaton. So yeah, before I begin those, um, 10 seconds spoiler warning as usual for those who have yet to actually watch the movie and haven't already stopped the video, go check it out and come back and watch the rest of this review. 10 seconds spoiler warning as usual starting now. Mm. Okay, so 10 seconds are up. So for those who have yet to actually watch, who have yet to actually watch this movie and haven't already, please don't comment down below or be messaging me that I never gave you a fair warning, because as usual, I did. And so yeah, um, if, um, so yeah, as usual, quick synopsis, likes and dislikes, and then the rates. So basically, in this in this version of Mad Max, you have um, Max, who's been captured by this cult, I guess you could say, the kind of cult. I guess it's a cult, I don't know. Um, he's basically captured by this cult. Okay, so one day, so that's one day. Now, like the next day or the, or the week after, whatever. You have Furiosa portrayed by, um, portrayed by Charlie Steering, and she basically wants to rescue a few of, a few of this guy's, um, wives. Like the main, immortal, Morton Joe's, um, wives. Yeah, Morton Joe is the main antagonist in this movie. And he has like six wives, and he wants to. And she, what she wants to do is um, rescue them and take them back to the Green Greenlands, which is basically whatever, basically any place that has grass, to say the least. Um, so yeah, somehow Mad Max gets involved in this, and now you have an action-packed movie, um, another type of revenge story, and yeah. Uh, so yeah, basically, yeah, Furiosa trying to get the wives out of the way, Mad Max and Nicholas Holt's character both somehow get involved in this, trying to rescue the two, all uh, these women, on uh, the wives, with Furiosa, and then trying to fight back at the end. So yeah, overall, I thought it was actually, a, I thought it was a great movie, fantastic movie, in my opinion. Um, the acting and the writing are pretty good, actually. The dialogue, I want to say, is minimal, to say the least, because there's so, just so much action, oh my gosh. Um, there's so much action, and yeah, I mean that that's great. The, the fact that it's an um, action movie, the, no, the fact that it has the amount of action it does is great. Better said. So yeah, I mean overall, I mean this this movie is basically just straight up action. This is basically mostly action. I mean you have maybe thirty minutes. You may, you have about thirty minutes that's actually sitting down talking to each other like basic scenes and dialogue. And then you have the other, and then you have another hour and a half that's just straight up action. I mean, yeah, the action here is done magnificent, in my opinion. It's just done beautiful. I mean, you have these wide scope um, shots uh, that are just great to see. A prequel, um, nothing that you've really seen, especially out of, the, out of this franchise, nothing you've really actually seen, and probably will see in another movie. I mean, the director, uh, George Miller, he's like, he, I hear he's like, like 79 or 80 years old right now. And he can still direct a really well, great movie. I mean, really, this movie is just action. That's basically just really no no way else to put it. It's just straight up action. That's it. Straight up action. That's it. I mean, if anything, there's only really one complaint. I'm gonna say. I mean, straight up. And I know right now, saying a complaint against this movie is like sacrilegious right now. Um, seriously, I forget whose review I, I saw, but this this guy. He says, like, one minor complaint that he had with the movie, and people just, like, we called him a troll and an asshole, so I know this right now may be sacrilegious, killing my channel, but, um, basically, there's only really one complaint, and that's that, in a certain movie, you have these, this great action scene, right, you have this great action scene, but for some reason, I don't know why, I don't know how, but for some reason, I feel like it just went on way too long, which is kind of ironic, because all the action scenes here are, like, a good half hour, um, they don't feel like a half hour or whatever, 15 minutes, whatever. You feel like t um, half that, but still, the pretty long action scenes. 
but whatever you had this um when the when this when Immortan Joe starts chasing Furiosa, you have this huge action scene that doesn't really end that only really ends once um Mad Max gets um runs runs into these women. It's like it's about a good 10, 15, 20 minutes. And the reason I'm complaining about this scene is because the yeah, the action was so great. I just feel like at that point, after a while, I was getting bored of the action. I was really hoping that the action really wasn't gonna bore me throughout the whole movie. Luckily, it was only for like the, for like those ten minutes that was really just boring me after a while. I don't know why, don't know how. It just did bore me after a while. But overall, it's a fantastic movie. I mean, really, only negative I can see anybody give I'm um, complaining is it's, it's that there's too much action. And to some extent, they do have a point. Um, you do need to have action in moderation, and this one is excessive, so you do have to be a hardcore action fan, or Mad Max fan, or whatever. But, yeah, I mean, this is, this is basically an action-packed movie. If you're going for something more dramatic or something, something more softcore action or whatever, this, is, this isn't the movie you're looking for. Um, yeah, too much action. Um, so yeah, on a scale of 1 to 10, scale of 1 to 10, what mean the worst, 10 mean the best, and 6 being decent, i give it a 9 out of 10. Fantastic movie, definitely do check it out if you haven't already. And yeah, that's basically it for this review. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, and comic book reviews. Comment down below on your thoughts on the movie. Like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. Aside from that, that's basically it for now. This is Daniel March signing off.